Hello everybody, welcome back to Just Roll With It Riptide. I am your host, your DM, Grizzly Plays. And these Woo! are the wonderful Woo! What's guys. going on, yeah. everyone? Um, I love this guy. I don't know. <laughs> hey, this guy, uh, Gavilian and gobble, gobble. Chimp. Grandma. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's us. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, same. Um, I, I mean, I'm actually, uh, it's actually G uh, Gillian on the sheet. Right. Not, okay, yeah. okay. Charlie, yeah. my eyesight's not what it used to be. Does Grizzly look a little different to you? Um, no. no what are you talking about? I'm it's the exact same, same Grizzly same as I am every day. No, no, yeah, I think you're just yeah, old. I think, I think you're, you're just, just old. Really and, old. Uh, what happened to you? Has he always been a Lego? Uh, hey, Grizzly, what's up with yeah. this guy? Mr. Chimp, is your, yeah. uh, is your, your hearing a little and your eyesight a little, you know? Uh, what was that, Sonny? I can't let me Okay, we're good. What is what is? Wait, who are you? I'm Grizzly Plays. Grizzly Plays. Grizzly yes, Plays. The DM. Is that it comes on oh, every Grizzly every Plays. episode. Everyone, every single episode. God damn it! Listen. Okay. It looks the oh, same as always. Oh, Listen oh, God, to God, me. God damn DM. Man your dice right You're now, for we shall play and Dungeons break and Dragons. Your bones if you don't calm I mean, down. You couldn't try. Get your dice. You couldn't dream. Okay. Of doing such uh, I guess oh! I'll grab my dice. Fall what, in what line, Grandma. Like, bitch. Everything. <laughs> I'm a fucking Why? gimp. Just do it. <laughs> okay. I don't think that shows up. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? <laughs> Shall we give a recap? Yes, yes tell us DM. what happened, DM. Sure, on the last time on Just Roll With It Riptide, <laughs> the um, the cast of you three lovely lots. Yeah, yes. yeah, that's we, us. You were um, sailing the seven seas. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah we, did no. yeah, we did right do that. We did do that. We did that. Yeah. And you encountered quite the issue. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, that's yeah. technically it true. I mean, true. It is a big issue. And you did not solve it quite yet. No, no. no we were actually in the middle of it. His mind is no. like a steel trap. He just he, doesn't forget anything. I remember everything. He don't truly. Miss. Shall we begin? Yeah, absolutely. Bring us in. DM. Wait, wait a second. What the hell is going on here? Hey, wait. What? What the what shit? The what the fuck going is this? On this guy. He's got a knife. What the hell is going on here? Get off my shit. What's going on? I believe this young woman is running with scissors. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is really confusing. The arts and crafts is the door, you little lady. Bang. Wait, who are you? What? Who are you? I'm the real Grizzly Place. You had a southern accent this whole time? And last time on just rolling. Holy shit. For a second there, I was standing inside the kitchen. Thinking, I'm just gonna let him run the whole session tonight and not ever come back out. <laughs> that would be truly evil. Give it up for our, our intern, Mr. Triple McWeedy! Yeah! Woo, yeah! yeah! Love that you guy. You'll never see him again. We work him to the bone. Oh, there, there he is. Look at him. Hey, <laughs> buddy. Hey, 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 oh. hey yeah, dude, so love this guy. Give, me, give, a, give a bow. Give a bow. The Riptide. <laughs> Sorry, he was standing just, just standing, ominously. Just standing there. The, fully <laughs> the Riptide out. pirates have made it to the top prison of the Navy called the Block. And now that they've entered and have no idea what they have gotten themselves into, I have no idea standing what before into. a swampy red devilish toad, no! will they be poisoned and eaten and drowned? Or will... Didn't realize that could happen. They just roll with it! Woo! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Where are we last left off? The three of you. Chip. Yep. Jay. And Gillian. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. The Riptide Pirates. <laughs> yeah. Successfully saved Duke, the Dukem of Duke, and the major way back out to sea. You read the papers you bought from newspaper boy Isaac and acquired some new magic items that you stole from King Leon's treasury or his previous, his father, the previous king, his treasury. And with the new items, you cut your travel shorter and made it a day earlier to the Navy prison Jay told you to be named the block. Big, big, long, uh, obelisk. Obelisk, uh, obelisk. that's good. That's um, good. um, obelisk. creature. Creature. King. King, all right, well, that's not it, but. <laughs> I was close. Chip, <laughs> as you guys arrived to this ever shifting, almost Rubik's Cube, red obsidian structure, Actually. massive in, in size, 
Chip had the idea to disguise himself using his magic bandana uh, as one of Jay's unknown relatives, another Farron. do that? And uh, taking Gillian and Jay, Jay dressed as a clown, <laughs> into the prison as prisoners, successfully fooling the one guard at the entryway. You both, uh, or all three of you, entered into this prison. Found that after the first hallway, you had four options, up, down, left, right. Choosing one of them, you ended up in some kind of swamp. You m made your way through the Spooky. murky, marshy waters. And just as you reached another one of those void-like doorways, assuming an exit into another hallway out of this chamber in this prison, come bubbling, rupturing from the surface. One large, toad-like humanoid with bulky arms, wide, toothy, blunt of teeth, rows of blunt teeth in his maw, warts and scales down his spine, excreting this purple smoke off of his body and out of his nostrils and his mouth. A Hezro stand in front of you and then lunge towards you. And so, the journey continues. Oh, We all got a roll initiative. Okay, okay. Natural okay. one. <laughs> oh Guys, let's see if I can follow that up. <laughs> I got a this 10. This sucks. I all got right. a... Let me um, find out a way to write this all 11. Down. It's one above you. Well, we can agree that Jay lost to You'll see. One. Yeah, Jay sucks. Yeah, Jay sucks. Yeah, Jay, 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 Jay. All right. He's just spray real. paint that on the clown. side of the ship. He's a clown. So, yeah. first Jay up. deserves the... <laughs> oh, my God. There's no arrow in that, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 that's a oh, weapon. Oh. That's a weapon. Chill, chill, chill. We can't have, we can't have murder on set. Not in this episode of Riptide. Yet. No, you don't hit me with the bow. <laughs> okay, so first up in the initiative order here is uh, the Hezro that is funny about bull. <laughs> this large fiendish-like <laughs> creeper, the Hezro that was stalking towards you, lunges at you, and the first up to react to this uh, monster, come a monster of the swamp, I should say, is Chip. Hey oh okay. So I am immediately going to go for a nice fat slash on this fella. Oh um, all right then, go ahead and roll that. With my with my right hand. Alright. Sword. Shit, maybe he's nice. That's he came out of a swamp. He has kind of eyes. Sorry. He has um, kind eyes. Sixteen to hit him. Sixteen just hits. Let's go. Alright, and I'm also gonna go for a second attack with my bonus action. Go for it. That's going to be an eight. Uh mm -hmm. eight to hit. Eighteen does not hit. We are going to do 5d6 here, plus 3, so let's... That's pretty big! Ooh, that sounds good! Ooh, alright, so... 27! 27! <clears throat> yeah, I just kind of... Okay. Uh, as, as this thing lunges at me, I want to kind of slide yeah. underneath it and mm -hmm. go and try and slash underneath the belly and move to the other side of it and go for another slash as I'm moving away okay. and try and use my movement to get as far away on the other side of this room as possible. All right, so you do that slash right under its belly as it lunges forward almost like this frog creature. And as you're dragging your blade across its stomach, you hear that as it's like almost tearing the skin, but you notice the skin is a lot thicker. Mm. Something about this, uh, this creature's, the way it's built, your slashes is not hurting it as much as you thought it would. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Oh, okay. And you missed a second attack, but you're able to get uh, further away with your fancy footwork. I look in its eyes. Does it have kind eyes? Roll insight check as a free action. Go ahead. We, I have to know. That is going to be a 13. Just Certainly close. not kind eyes. <gasps> what? In fact, just with your uh, passive evil sniff, <sighs> this is awful. It smells so bad, it's worse than the entire swamp. Finally. It stinks. A big stinker! And I want to hit him with my fucking sword. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Roll to attack. That is going to be a 24 to hit. Okay, 24 Ooh, hits. My first attack. Fuck. Second attack is going to be a 23 Holy. to hit. Holy fuck, dude. 23, both of those attacks hits. Go ahead and roll damage cool. total. Tell me the damage and the damage type, if you would. 22 slashing. Gotcha. Um, does it not, is it funky wonky and it doesn't do a lot on it? As you're slashing, you definitely feel way more resistance than normal when trying to tear through this uh, devilish, just almost like demonic reptile skin. Okay, guys, it, do it doesn't look like regular attacks work. We're gonna have to try something else. Try something else, this is kind of all I've got. This, I guess I can, uh, I can hit him with God. Jay, what do you have? Ah! 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 I'll kill him with comedy. 
Shay, what? <laughs> <laughs> you hear as soon as you squeak a horn, you hear the 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 the, the, <laughs> the Hezro that's been damaged and slashed. You just that was uh, 22 slashing damage, gotcha. and as a bonus action, I cast Shield of Faith on myself to protect me from the Prismatic Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> the Hezro first uh, is going to go straight for a bite on you, Gillian, as you're right in front of its face. Yes. Campaign Tell me dice. Stinky maw. Campaign dice, black and gold. Dice and ooh, 18. N, N, and not an A, then no, it doesn't. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Next up, it's going to go for a a, uh, a claw attack as it tries to bite into Gillian's armor and fails. It pushes off and angrily leaps back towards you, Chip, as you try and get away. Do I get an opportunity attack? Of course, it leaves your, your <laughs> Yes, <memory>. big <laughs> money! Jay, say something cool like usual. Um, uh, Pazupo. What the fuck? <laughs> I, got a, uh, I got a 15 to hit. Uh, 15 does not hit. Does a 10 hit? No, right? So I start you, to slash and he says bazooka on my You miss yeah. <laughs> No, even the, even the boss in terms are like <laughs> <laughs> And he jumped towards yeah, um like He jumps towards Chip yeah, and tries to swipe you but you're just too good with your feet routine. and you dodge it as if you were dodging any other attack uh very swiftly and easily. Uh however, it's going to try again against you Chip for another claw attack okay. as you dodge it. Uh oh. I'm rolling like shit. Does a twelve hit? Uh it does not. Well, it misses both times, but you can see <laughs> as it as it, as it is attacking you, it is swiping with this like <clears throat> aggressive, almost feral nature, uh, and it it looks terrifying as its mouth is open, just trying to to, to get you. Tadpole and as, stupid bitch. As this thing is swiping, can I just be kind of like <laughs> leaping over the arms? Can somebody? Please! Yeah, it's like slap on I'm drawing, but Jay keeps saying nonsense Jay, words! Shut the fuck uh, up and help! And then laughing at them! And you also hear like a lot of being. Jay, stop trying to be funny! You're staring me You're down! Not. Stop! Wanna hear a joke? I think I just sucked all my moisture back into my body. <laughs> Natural 20! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> What are you? Fucking I don't even. I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know what you're rolling. I walk for. away and press a button and blow up the person. <laughs> no, I know. I, you when, have to. You have to tell me what you're rolling for before you oh, roll. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, so I'm. Uh, it was an attack. When we I'm got just attacking that with wig bow. And everything. My the first thing I said was, "Do you think Jay relates to the Joker?" <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah. believe that this is how it's turned out. So it's out. 26 total. Uh, yeah, 26 definitely hits. It's yeah. Great, obviously. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, and it's with my pistol, actually. This I thought like, I made it awesome. The scariest now. thing we've ever seen. <laughs> I, I don't even think we faced like a the more dastardly fuck. No, I'm genuinely this terrified. Is, this is someone you're, 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 against, you're against a fucking demonic toad, and you guys are like Pretty more run. scared of the chip. Watch so my crit, <laughs> my crit did very <laughs> awesome damage. You. Um, not really. It did fucking like ten. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you obviously noticed even wait, with your wait plus fourteen. Okay, of, so uh, 24 like. points yeah, of damage. Yeah. Even with your uh, critical yeah, eye, and you I'm hit one of its arteries, and it does rupture yeah. some sort of like uh, um, artery or vein uh, inside it uh, on its neck with your shot. There are it no still jokes. doesn't do <laughs> as much damage. There's no more planning. Around. As you are hoping, it has taken uh, a beating from the three of you, and uh, you can definitely see there's wear and tear mm -hmm, on its mm -hmm. body. Uh, second attack, by the way. Yep, go for it. Um, by the way, every time I shoot my gun, it just makes. That's awful. Okay, it's what great. did you, uh... It's great. Uh, it's roll? so awful. It's so amazing. I hate that. Uh, plus seven, 18. 18 hits. 18 hits. Go ahead, boy. Eight damage. Eight damage. All Eight right. damage. Same thing as always. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Is that your turn? Bonus action, Hunter's Mark. I should have done that earlier. Obviously. Yes. Awesome. Dumb. What does Hunter's Mark look like when you're a clown? <laughs> he grows a no. giant red nose on him. <laughs> <laughs> you just see this kind of like like red or whatever. What do you want your colors to be? Uh, like, how do you mean? I'm just thinking like a something apparates on his pages, chip. on his notes. <laughs> I think it would just be, be the same <laughs> red funny. nose. This <laughs> Maybe is it only you in your eyes? Like you only see his nose? It's technically no. I want them to see it because they're freaking out now. I don't want to be unfunny, Hulk Hulk. He doesn't have What's a nose. What's happening? No! He Here doesn't have a nose. Oh, Gil, don't no! do it! Don't do it! No! Gillian! My destiny is to be funny. <laughs> no! Be funny, Gillian. No. So, are you ready for the next I round? Know, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Top of the round, Chip. Uh, Top of the round. Roll. Go ahead and uh. go ahead and roll a 
for me a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. And this is not with your plus four. Well, DM is... Grizzly, oh, yes. I can do that. I can roll with you the constitution saving throw. So just a, just a, number, just a regular saving uh, throw. And rolling this save, I'm throwing the d20 down. That's going to be a 17. But here's the thing, Grizzly. Constitution, I have a plus three. So that's going to be a dirty, stinky 20. No. Wow. Back I thought you, you, can you, you can't breathe anyway because you're laughing too hard at Jay's jokes. And my jokes, I'm right? I'm not. Uh, you start to, as this, as this creature is just like... Um, uh, Basically focusing you, abusing you. He's mm -hmm. like harassing you. You're mm -hmm. breathing in this like awful smoke that is this just putrid, disgusting stench into your nostrils. And it is, it is, it feels like, it feels toxic to inhale to you, but you're able to just kind of like shrug it off and get used to it as you're fighting. You've smelled much okay. worse being on the Black Rose Pirate ship. Oh, there's been some stankage. <laughs> some so, stankage. it is your turn now. Go ahead. Okay. Um, what do you want to so do? One question I have is the ceiling, how tall is it? And how tall is this creature? The ceiling just looks like a normal sky. Okay. It looks a swampy like a normal, sky. A sky? Yeah. It's like, really like, it's like, it's like <clears throat> nighttime. And above okay. you is like, uh, like it's just uh, dark kind of whittled, almost like dead trees that go up and there's, mm. there's branches. You're not sure how high that goes. Okay. But it, it, it seems to go a little bit above the From creature. So if I were to go over top of it. Over, they're trying to jump over it? Yeah. You can certainly try. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking I want to do. Try. Um, I want to yell out, try. Uh, Hey, just try and keep your distance! And I want to throw some... Actually, would the water still be on the ground? Because I, I, I'm i pretty sure Gillian moved it all, correct? So we're not in the rough terrain anymore? No, no, no. Gillian was just shaping water as you walked to make yeah, it easy. I can't do that oh. Right Technically, you would be in difficult terrain, but we don't really use measurement. When we are doing combat, because we don't have battle maps. I, I guess I'm wondering how that would affect ball bearings. It wouldn't work. They yeah, wouldn't work. You're like throwing them into a swamp. They would, okay, they would okay, float sorry. I, yeah. I, figured, I figured Gillian yeah, had, unfortunately. had uh, Okay. I will um, jump over it and kind of and kind of dig my swords down into it from the top and try and leap off of it to the other side of the room with uh, Gillian and Jay. Now, first attack is going to be a... Ooh... Don't know if that's gonna do her. 12. 12, unfortunately, does not hit. And that second one is a 19. 19 hits. Big money. You just gotta hit once. All right, big money. Let's see it. Hey, okay. Okay, all right. All right. All right. okay money. All right, respectable, re respectable takeaway. Yeah, 16. 16 slashing. Right on. Using your, your, basically using your footwork as a pirate, your movement, you're able to do these kind of moves without making an acrobatic check, because that okay. would be silly if you just failed and still hit. So, um, I can slip off of it. <laughs> but then, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good. You, you don't have any kind of magic for this thing? Oh, I think I and I sink below the the, the water floor, and it just like goes completely still. Gillian, Gillian, and then I come out <laughs> right in front of the frog, uh, and I, and my my blade is glowing this blue, and I go for a glacial blade on him. All right, him. go ahead, roll for an attack. So this is going to be not two attacks. It's a technically can trip. Did you? Yeah. It's a, it's a no, uh, spell no melee. Shot. No what? fucking shot. What was that? Natural one. Oh wow. Well. Mm. What are you What are you about to do? You don't hit. Nothing, I guess. But um, you weren't using prophetic screw up, right? No, I wasn't. Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah. Hmm. No. Well, fortunately, I think. That would have been pretty funny, though. <laughs> we'll see. Um, well, uh, that's all I can do. I get. I, I'm still gonna stand in front of him and try and sort of body block him from getting to these guys. Gotcha. Um, that yeah, that's all I got. I end my turn. All right, man. Not taking opportunity attacks and moving away is really good. Yeah, ship. it is. Yeah. Because so, then I can just run up to this bitch and you guys are really him tough. Him. So because you have body block, technically he's going to uh, use his actions to just go for you since you're getting his attention. Yep. Uh, he's going to go at first for a bite attack. Stop! So Yikes. he tries to uh, bite down on your on your like this area between your shoulder and your neck. Twenty four to hit. Twenty four just hits. Okay. Oh my god. I was wondering. I was like, I don't know if it's gonna hit because you have the shield. Okay. So two of his attacks click. He uh, goes in for a bite and bites you, and then one of his claws, you just kind of like uh, jump out of the way, and then another one comes up and stabs you right in the abdomen. Oh! So you take twenty eight points of piercing and slashing damage. Oh! Come my. oh. <laughs> As you, you take two attacks from him. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, DM, it's no more clown around time. Yeah, Jay, this is very funny. Jay rips off her clown nose, says no more clowning around, All and right. she launches it towards the frog as like using the catapult spell oh at my level god. two. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I can't believe she was carrying around a clown outfit this whole time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it needs to make a dexterity saving throw, DC fifteen. Yes, yes, ma'am. That is a natural eighteen. Damn, uh, twenty-one total. 
It just bounces yeah, off of him. Sense. It's funny. It's a clown nose, so it doesn't oh. really do much damage, even if you imbue it with magic. It squeaks as it bounces off. It was cool. <laughs> he's able to get out of the way as he's kind of uh, in the middle of the attacking chip. Try stabbing him with something besides <laughs> knives. What hey, you... Gil, are you, are you all right? Um, hey, Chip, stab him with my bow. No, this that doesn't make any sense. He's a really um, big frog. Have we tried being nice to it? No. Um, Good I idea. Wanna, I want to. I want to take my swords, hold them up. Uh, we don't mean you any harm. Chip, um, we're in prison. Calm down. It's okay. See, <laughs> look. And then I want to pull out a ration. Persuasion with disadvantage. Okay. Yep. Eighteen. Okay. Second one. 17. Okay. Mm. 26. The creature that is drooling from the mouth, almost like frothing and uh, ex excreting very visceral fluids, gets closer and snatches whatever you're holding out of the, your hand I wish I and could then just like shoves like it in its you know, mouth. Okay, okay, okay. Just... I'll, I'll just say you have advantage on your next attack, but okay. it is not. Okay. It's not your friend. <laughs> it's still a frothing froggy. All right, I, I you think six, it's... I'll say this is a, like a distraction, so. Gillian, do you think it likes me? Um. No. Mm -hmm. It just looks like it's ferociously mm -hmm. eating that grass. Mm -hmm. I, uh, um, hmm. No? Uh, yes. uh, um, no. It's just so, it doesn't Why have are its teeth like that? Its eyes are so unkind. Its teeth are, it's, they're like round tools. Yeah, so they're rotund. Like why is he so wet? That's weird. In the back of your mind, speaking telepathically, you hear this jumbled up jargon of like deep guttural, like <laughs> like this. This, this I can't understand you. That's uh, I'm not saying almost right this now. like. What do you mean? Crushing language to your mind as it's trying to speak to you, and you gather that this is this. Toad responding, although you don't understand it. I think we gotta kill this thing, but uh, these aren't doing the trick. Neither is this right now. Um, I've, I've once researched knights and stuff, and they used to actually use the the hilt of their sword, like 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 this, to get through armor. So like maybe maybe that could be an listen, idea. He is not going to be like this for much longer. I'll say the planning uh, has to be more concise. And Chip, you have to take your turn. So now run. <laughs> Uh, uh, punch it! Punch! Okay! Punch. And I'll go, I'll go in for my slashes. All right, go for it. You can roll with advantage. Rolling with advantage on my first one. That's a, oh, it's a 16. That's a seven. So 16 plus, I believe six. That hits. Um, and the next attack is going to be a uh, natural one, but a good advantage. Um, that is going to be 12. 12 does not hit. So does one not hit. hit. All right, so. That's going to be 20 slashing damage. All right. And you guys, I mean, again, you guys can see that this, you guys together, yeah. although it being much slower than you would have were expecting, you've done a discernible amount of damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so, so when I do these slashes, I want to kind of jump over Gillian and come down and slash at its face and stand down in front between Gillian and, and this creature. And then I'll end my turn there. Okay. Right, so you're in front of Gillian. Yes. Gillian, you're also in front of the creature, both of you are kind of still in his melee yeah. range, you're not leaving it. And uh, with that, next up is Gillian. I wanna get, get, me, get me in there. <laughs> I come in with this awesome slash, and you're just like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, get the fuck out of here. Uh, so none of my teachers have to see this. I, I flip my uh, sword around, um, <laughs> and I <laughs> just like fucking this. Um, just like this? Yeah, just like, blunt him on the head. Okay, bonk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll uh, say you can still use the same thing. It'll just switch it to bludgeoning damage. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go for another glacial blade to try and do some. Uh, also, cool uh, I wanted to ask while you're rolling this, how you guys feel about like rolling using like a bonus action to roll a medicine check to see exactly how bad a foe is doing. I think that's fun. That's cool. That's if we want to cool. see. Yeah. I mean, yeah, helps I'm, us. Uh, yeah. I think it's rubbing off. I think I'm still infected by the clown. Sixteen. 16 to hit, mm -hmm. 16 just hits, you got Yes! 13 damage total, but two of it is cold. Nice, guys. Nice. We got through the resistance. We <sighs> did it together. How does, how does the blunt feel? Did it feel good? How does it felt the wrong. Blunt it feel? felt so wrong. Does the blunt feel good? Hey, you know what? From what I can tell. <laughs> yeah, Gillian, it's... does the blunt feel good? Yeah, actually, Chip, I think it's hitting. The blunt's hitting? The blunt's hitting right oh, now. Oh, that blunt's hitting oh, right it's now. It's hitting hard. Holy so... shit, Gillian, you're cheaping. Uh, Gillian, as you 
take your turn and blunt bludgeon the the, the frog. <laughs> just hit him in the fucking head with it. And and and, and you kind of like shove the, the the tip of your your the blunt side of your sword in his nose and <laughs> so freeze wrong. it a little bit with some cold damage. He seems to just sneeze and shrug and shrug it off, and Damn. it seems to do just about half as much damage as. You are expecting. Okay. That's annoying. Jay, that's that's like most of the parts of my sword. Well, I don't know. At the end, I, I meant to do it at the beginning of your turn, but at the end of your turn, go ahead and roll a Concept. con save. Pretty good, right? 26. 26. You, uh, same thing as Chip. That stench is just uh, unimaginable. Well, you can imagine it because it's right in front of you. It's awful. And you breathe it in and you eventually get used to it. It doesn't seem to affect your, your body in any way. Your fumes are my power. The creature, however, is going to squat down and then leap. Uh, well, first is going to take a claw attack at Chip. Uh, that's only going to be a 15. Um, I'm pretty sure 15 hits, yeah. My AC is 14. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're a liar. Just lie. <laughs> Yeah, it's I'm also, not a good one. I can't go- roll deception against the DM. <laughs> Chip, you take 13 points of slashing damage. Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. That ain't that ain't shit. He ain't. He shit. squats down. He <laughs> leaps up. And he's All going right. to just go for a a kind of leaping uh, um, overhead bite on Jay. But you guys both get opportunity attacks. Oh and, yeah. And and he takes cold damage because I use glacial blade. Can How much we damage? do some cool like team opportunity attack? Yeah, that's sick. Um, I, I thrust my blade up and you jump up on it and I push you off towards okay. it in the air. Okay, cool. sweet. I like that. Natural one on the opportunity attack. Oh man. <laughs> this is rough. Rough. This is fucking rough, dude. This one usually doesn't fail me this 24 bad. on the opportunity attack. That is, yep. Okay. I hope. You watch the, the eyes kind of uh, splinter and break away and dig into his skin and then shatter out uh, like that kind of like breaking glass look as it does <laughs> so, yeah for my opportunity attack i look at the hilt look at the blade like uh, 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 yeah <laughs> <laughs> throw my sword at him 25 slashing damage 25 as Gillian holds that sword up i kind of just leap onto it oh. and and stab the blades do you get sneak up. attack on opportunity attacks it's only once per uh round so did you get a sneak attack earlier yes i did so no, that is not how much it is. It is. You just roll one. And then yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. It is way less than that. Though. It is four. <laughs> Shit. Uh, well, um, um, as it's way less cool as I just kind of tickle his belly. I thought it looked pretty. It was. Right. Hey guys, that nice. looked pure, really good. Ah! All right, Jay. Hey. That was a nice setup. That is going to be a twenty. Okay? That hits. Yes. Oh. All right, filthy. No, oh. I don't. You take sixteen <laughs> points of piercing damage as it digs right into your how uh, much? Your, one of your shoulders, your arm. I thought he said sixty. Sixteen. Oh, that'd be crazy. Her clown uh, shoes are stuck in the swamp. They're too big and full of them. <laughs> and that's oh, going Jay, to take off move. the clown shoes. That's going to end its turn. Next up, Jay is right on you. Just dug its teeth. It's it's big, wide maw. Just cramped down on your entire maw. arm, basically. Maw. Maw. Toothy. Maw. 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 It's so toothy. Toothy. Maw. Okay. Okay. Toothy maw. Jay gets kind of Gaping slashed across even. the chest. And Gaping the hand goes frog. back. <laughs> kind of like channels some energy into it and blasts it up with a poison spray. And he has to make a constitution saving throw. Yeah, you're does. trying to. Never mind. You know, everything else doesn't work. I'm sure this will work just fine. Uh, he that's, smells. That's going to be. Make him stinkier, Jay. Yes. 25. Yeah, it passes. Uh, let's see here. Does it. Uh, it doesn't take any damage. Go ahead and also make a con save. Yeah, I got it. 15 plus. Uh... We're rolling pretty good on the saves. Right? Yeah, it's good. Plus 3, 18. All of you seem to get adjusted to the smell and nothing. It doesn't affect your body, even Most though it feels. Heat. It burns when you inhale it, but it doesn't seem to uh, cause any like permanent or, or poison damage. Next up, Chip, you're at the top of the round. Would here. you? I would like to do another nice. team attack. I'd like to do something that's cool. You, you can um, hold your action for me. Yeah, I, I will, I'll hold my action. What are you thinking? I was thinking. Something maybe like a wall of ice and breaking through it and making him to like not see the attack coming or something like that. I have what an idea. Thinking? Oh yeah, go ahead. Go for uh, it. Okay, so whatever you think. I am yeah. Here's what I do. Um, I am going to go ahead and uh, rush forward here and DM if you'll let me. Uh, as my sword goes alight, I want to try and use glacial blade with the cold damage to try and like hit him in one of the legs instead of his body and try and freeze the like the the water around him to try and maybe like slow him down or something so i love the idea of just targeting a specific limb is at disadvantage okay i'll still do that yeah and roll it I big dice big rolls we'll dude i don't tr- i don't trust this one no well you're, could you're it get lost. worse than that no you could have uh, had that you could have had that oh uh, yeah uh. <laughs> 
Just rub that in. Rub it in. <laughs> 14? No. 14 does not hit. No. I'm sorry. Do I still freeze the water? I don't know how the spell works. How does it work? It's just. Do you it's, have to hit to, to, to freeze things? Glacial Blade is basically Booming Blade, but with Frost. So it would just you do be have, up to you. You do have to hit, I think. Let me see. So basically, I think we decided this a while ago that it had to be on a hit, just like the original spell, for mm. the actual magic to take an effect. Okay. You're up. I think I just like, st I think I'd stab some seaweed or kelp or goo or snot or pus. What are you trying to do? This is a pretty weak showing today here from us boys. <laughs> it is, it is. Are you trying to take the leg? The the creature itself is still kind of uh, a towering over. It's panting a lot heavier, but uh, yeah, it, is, it is obviously very tough. Hey guys, check this one out. Uh, and I and I go back and I go running and I want to power slide with my sword <laughs> out just like that and try to target uh, either leg okay. with one. Which you, go which first. One. Listen, can I at least make him a little ice slide so he yeah, can pull come me, on. so Obviously, he doesn't yeah, of just course. fall into the swamp? Of course, okay, of course. cool. You gotta like okay. you, you freeze the top of the water and then like swoop it okay. down in order to create that. Slide. I feel like I contributed. <clears throat> So this first one at disadvantage, uh, natural twenty. Fuck. All uh, right, that definitely hits. No, it's that's disadvantage. disadvantage. Going for the You're going for legs. legs for Watch what reason? reason? <laughs> for what reason? Because I want to hit the legs. Okay, then. disadvantage. I yep. want to immobilize him. Cool. Maybe you'll roll another natural twenty. I have given you my blessing. I also give you my. Uh, it's your destiny. Let's see. It's your destiny. It's my destiny. It's, your destiny. it's still a stinky twenty. Hey, that you know works. what? I'll take it. It's a stinky room. <clears throat> and with my other sword. That, that was my mercy. At disadvantage. That is a 16, so that would just hit. Be above a 10, please. Above a 10. Fuck! Okay. Well, the second one doesn't hit. The what was one. it? What was it? So, this is nine. Nine plus? No, nine that's it. Damn. Okay, well, the second <laughs> one doesn't hit, but the first one you managed to hit the leg with a <clears throat> filthy 20. 18 damage. Does attacking a leg actually do anything? I will say for this one, attacking a leg specifically and succeeding, we'll say it, uh, the creature will have disadvantage on its next attack rolls. Let's go! Oh, nice! And the movement speed will be half. Nice! nice. Hey. Same goes hey, great for- Great team attack, man. Great teamwork, Good for yes. us to work yeah. together. Okay. I love the power slide visual with the ice as well. And uh, yeah, next up is going reason. to be the creature who is still uh, Actually, did you you had to get into its melee range to attack. Did You, move, you never said you, you moved, moved away. away. I didn't, oh, no. I, did. oh, I, didn't, uh, I didn't say I did. No. I didn't say that I did. Don't worry, it has disadvantage. You're still in it, right? Jay's still in the melee. Uh, yeah, I suppose. And so Gillian's now in melee as yeah. well. Yeah. So you're Ooh. all three in melee. Go for me, go for me. He's first for me, go for me. He's first going to go for a... He's going to go for a bite on Jay. Nice. Wait, I was joking. And I got to roll at disadvantage because he's basically a natural one. Awesome. Hey! And uh, for his second attack, he's gonna go for a swipe on on Chip as he slides by. Oh, no, Jomio's choppers! That's going to definitely hit because I rolled natural sixteen on disadvantage. Chip, you're gonna take with his swipe at you, just eight damage. I forget oh. you have uncanny dodge, by the way. Uncanny dodge says so four damage. Alrighty then. Wow, taste of his own medicine. And Gillian, he's going to swipe at you. As yes. Well. And uh, there's no way any of that hits because you're AC. Tell me the number anyway, evil toad. Oh my god, it was like a six. <laughs> oh, it's not plus. gonna hit, but it's cool when I say it to you. I'm gonna do something absurd. Can I can I use like perception or investigation to see if there's like a weak spot on this monster? This would be insight. Insight? Sure. Thirteen. Just by gleaning into its uh, habits, mean. its kind of mannerisms, and just the way that its body's been functioning using your. Uh, uh, just using it, like studying it as you guys have been fighting, you're only really able to, you don't see any sort of weaknesses. You just know that it looks like it is uh, very, very resistant to pretty much everything. Oh. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna shoot it with a pistol. Yeah, you don't see any, you don't see any weaknesses that you could uh, exploit. Okay, so it's gonna be a- flies and distracted. Where are we gonna get 22 flies? and a 17 to uh, hit. 20 to both hit. Both hit. <laughs> yep. So we're okay. damage. Okay. What do you got, huh? Hey, what you got? What you got over there? Hey! Hey, hey what are you doing? Plus 8, 22. Hey, what are you stupid? Plus 6, 28. Plus 6 again, 34. Add my Colossus Slayer. 6, I don't know. 40. <laughs> Wait, what? Is, how do you run? All right. What if just hit? Did you crit? No. What? I just hit with both shots. Oh, that's crazy. 40? Yeah, yes, nice. 40 after both shots. 
Okay. Why? Because, okay. What am I saying, right? I have no fucking idea how you got that. D10. One of them. D10 again. Plus eight, because I have plus four for each shot. Okay? Following? Yes. Hunter's Mark. Get that on both of them. Two D6s. You get Hunter's got Mark it? on both attacks? Yes, it's on every attack you do. Okay. Uh, then one Colossus Slayer. A D8. 40 tall. Okay. Why? Oh, damn. <laughs> how do you want to do this? Awesome. Oh! <laughs> okay. How do you want to do it? So, Jay, after failing uh, her poison strike, she un like unholsters her weapon, spins it around, aims for the eye, and shoots once, right? Mm -hmm. And then she kind of ducks down, and as she does, kind of goes into the pistol, and you see like a bullet automatically load back into this this sort of... what What is the word? Mechanism? Like, yeah, sure, yeah, mechanism. Yeah. That's not the word I'm looking for. Into the chamber. Yeah, but she, she does a little spin, and like points back up, like on her one knee, into yeah. the other eye, and shoots straight through. Kabam! Kabam. Kabam. Yes. Super. Who's laughing now, fuckers? Okay. Fuck I'll... you. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, that was cool. You guys are funny. Oh. You hurt yeah, my feelings. I mean, that was... Uh-huh. I dropped out of clown school. It's still not clear on what a clown is. And in like, the, the, all of like your that. minds, you kind of hear this... You don't want to be a clown. ...very... The same, same, same kind of language, yeah. Chip, that you heard in your mind. All of you hear it in the back of your minds. It's just, it's just one kind of deep, almost like a, a, an exhale of a dark, deep breath into your minds. And it sounds like it could be a language, but none of you speak abyssal, no, no. so you don't understand what it says. As it goes, lifeless and limp, splashes directly into the water right next to Jay as she strikes his pose and then stands up and screams, fuck you to all of you guys. <laughs> and it falls into the water, and it seems to just disappear. Never following my dreams again. <laughs> um... And maybe that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's probably. Maybe your destiny lies <laughs> elsewhere. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, wait. Uh, t tell him. Tell a joke. Tell a joke. I'm, I'll laugh. I'll laugh at it. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Never mind. The black doorway that you cannot peer through to the other side still remains in the same place it was as you were battling this demon toad <laughs> and uh what would you guys like to do let's go through uh what what possible uh exits are there of the room are there multiple or just one just that one yeah well it seems there's only one way to forge forward <sighs> yep don't you think we could have just left this thing here and walked through the door well, I mean, what if Marshal John came through here and maybe if what? it was died. maybe That's if such it was a stupid reason to kill this thing. Maybe if it was a good toad, we could have left it. It was, it was not a good toad. Bad, it's stinky very bad. toad. Very evil. Didn't have kind eyes. We walked into nope. its house and started stabbing it. That's right. Well, it stabbed us first. That doesn't kind of. make him bad. Not his house. He's actually lair. you stabbed it first. Okay, so what if I walked into the undersea and started stabbing people? I'd stab you until you die. Chip, you were you were literally you were literally the first one who ran and stabbed it. You cannot. You cannot make. Neither here nor there. You cannot make this that argument does not right matter. now. <laughs> Nobody told even, you to do that. I don't that. even know what you're talking about. I don't, I, oh I don't my even god! Oh, oh, here we go. Frogs! <laughs> <laughs> I run through the door. <laughs> Gillian sprints through the um, unknown gateway into a new hallway, and you all Ooh, begin to follow. A but sound. I know it is. Chip, <laughs> uh, what is your marching order? I need to know who's in front. Gillian, Gillian first, obviously in front. Chip, then <laughs> Jay. Jay. Jay, as you're Jay taking stepping over. into the uh, doorway, as soon as they step through, uh, they seem to just kind of disappear as if fading into black as they move through. And right before you're about to step in as well, you look down and just boop, this like water sound uh, right next to your thigh and floating towards the surface, it's kind of like white, uh, almost like marble material, something hard, and then it just rotates over and you see the uh, skull of some humanoid floating towards the surface. Ah. You coming, yeah. Jake? There was... You can just kind of hear them, but you can't see them through the doorway. Yeah, I know, but I run. <laughs> Stop clowning around back there. All right, you guys enter <laughs> a new hallway of that red <laughs> sparkling There's a human brick. skull in there. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. No, there's like a little... And at least it was only a human. What? Look. We just need to find Marshall John. You uh, continue down this hallway, mm -hmm. and at one point you get to the end where there's an uh, and and sort of like that same kind of exit way. I'm just gonna call them doorways from here forward. You get to another doorway, and just as you're about to walk through, red brick just kind of immediately shuts you off, and you seem and it seems to be like you're stuck in here. And then 
as you hear that sound of like stone shifting together and grinding the friction of it, you once again see another black doorway just kind of uh, unveil like a wipe transition as it comes and, and the shaking stops. This place is so weird. And as you walk through, you come to another sort of that open area where you have an, an up incline, down incline, and a left and a right, a, a four choice direction. Like this to begin with. I don't know. Who's deciding which way we go? Gil? Well, you can say me, but really, it will be De destiny. destiny. Yes. Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? Hopefully you're enjoying the episode. I just want to stop in here quickly for a quick mid-roll to say uh, you should check out the Patreon, maybe. Ever think about that? You know what we got there? We got, a, we got a lot of stuff. We got a little campaign called Prime Defenders exclusively to Patreon. Recently started Season 2. Pretty cool. We've got Just Rolled With It. Now these, we talk about the episodes after the episode. You see here are inner, our inner thoughts and machinations. You know, you, you get to hear what the fuck was going on in our head when when we thought to do whatever the fuck we did in any other any given episode. I'm, it's 4 a.m. Hey, you should give us money on the Patreon so that these late nights that I have to wake up and get out of bed and record these things are worth it. <laughs> okay. I'm going back to bed now. Good night. Enjoy the episode. Uh, what's an, what's two? Left. As you guys take a left, following Gillian's lead, you walk through another hallway, and then you walk through a second hallway, and you keep just going straight for just a little while. Um, time in this area doesn't you can't really tell if it's been 30 seconds, 30 minutes, or however long, because it's all the same surrounding area. There's no uh, any semblance of daylight or nightlight. You can't see the sky. You can't see the ground. You're just in these hallways, and you feel every now and then it move, and the doorway close and then open, and you continue to go down what you believe was a left turn. Mm, yes, yes. And then eventually, as you walk through one of those black doorways, you come in and you see in this hallway, it's a little wider than normal and hanging from this hallway are these kind of like uh, hanging chain lanterns. Mm. And in here, you guys witness what seems to be around four other figures. Two of them are sitting, leaned against the walls on the left and the right. Another one is just kind of walking towards your direction but with his head down long black hair kind of obscuring the face just holding his weight against the wall stumbling forward seems to be dripping some kind of uh, blood or, or or sweat it's it's unsure and then there is a one last figure this kind of robust meaty figure that is also sitting at the very end of the hallway blocking the doorway with uh with some sort of like metal flask just every now and I then. I, I think I rush forward to the one that's bleeding. Okay. Um. <laughs> hey, whoa! Uh, are you okay? <sighs> what is okay in this? <laughs> What's okay in this place anymore? Um. Hopefully this. I I, I want to reach out and use a. Uh, Lay on hands on him for, uh, let's say, let's say, uh, eight points. Okay, what does it look like as you go to do lay on hands? Yeah. Is it so, noticeable? Is it what? Noticeable. Yes, absolutely. Um, it, it, would, it would basically be like me sort of reaching, uh, under, like, towards his, uh, towards probably his side, like, wherever the injury is, as, as water sort of collects around the hand. Sort of easily sort of, uh... Blo like not blocks your hand but sort of holds his other hand out and just says <coughs> don't wait sir whatever magic killing you have on me everyone in this no matter what you do to help it's not gonna change <coughs> save it you're pretty beating yourself. See, we'll see about that. Let me now. Get, get, just let me. Just, there's no. There's stop. no really real resistance. But oh. Okay. He's just like trying to. He kind of has like he's like like very oily, like super oily and clumped together brown hair, kind of like Ollie's length. Uh, but he's his face is very bony and skinny. Um, he just seems to be a, a normal humanoid. It's still very tan skin, but yeah, he looks uh, uh, beaten and rough. And I'm healing him for those eight. 
Okay, how much healing? <clears throat> it's eight points. Eight points. He's able to like lift his head and look at you, and <coughs> the coughing uh, sort of subsides. And <clears throat> like I said, <clears throat> it's just gonna be a waste. What happened to you? Not a waste to help. I mean, like, what happens in this place? Same thing that happens to everybody. You get thrown in here. <laughs> You're never gonna leave. You try and leave here. You'll end up in another... You'll end up in another one of those rooms. They're just frogs. We can take them. Do you know which way to Marshal John by any chance? A frog. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Frog. It was amphibious. I'm sorry, I don't know a Marshal John. I can't help you if that's what you're asking. What does this guy look like? What does it look like he was attacked by? It doesn't look like he's attacked by. He just looks sick. Oh, Sickly just sick and injured. Yeah. Okay. Probably like he's been sitting in the safe room for a long time. I imagine. <laughs> now nourished. You hear, you hear a, a, like a grunt, like a that that gurgling laugh coming from the guy who's sitting at blocking the exit or at the other side doorway opposite from where you came in. Don't waste your time on that guy, lads. On Marshal John? No, no one on the wall. Oh. <laughs> Not wasting anything. Well, then who should we waste our time on? You want information? I've been in here for a while. Give Good. me something. That. Give me something of value and Take I'll... Take a look at my ways. Shopkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you through the doorway if you want to continue on struggling. That's what we're all called here, huh? The strugglers. Jay, why would we maybe do something like this? This is just torture. I, I, it's, I'm just like I'm not, I'm not the more, I'm not the Navy's moral compass. I just figured since you used to be with the Navy that uh, I'm listen, I'm family. Did you ever drop your disguise? Oh my God! I don't uh, yeah, I did. I would say I, I probably did. Okay. I, I yeah, they probably. I'm not speaking you. in the voice. So yeah. <laughs> what did you do? Well, how did you end up in here? <laughs> Name's the Dread Pirate Knucklehead. <laughs> I like that. That's, that's funny. And my own crew. Got in a few fights with the Navy. Just, uh, respond to your inquiry, or whatever. <laughs> they don't give a shit about what's happening here. They probably don't even know half the stuff happening here. Well, this place is All they care natural. about is it keeps us in. The ones that hate them. Hate those damn bastards. So you've been here for, for how long? You know, a month, yeah, two months? I don't know, time. Time got our plans together. Uh, one person gave me this watch to pass through this hallway. Stopped working. About a year or two. How have you survived this long? Like, how do you get food? Another one of these, uh, strugglers thought he could get his way through the <laughs> gauntlet of whatever this big ass cube is. Told him if he wanted to pass, same as you three, drop something of value. Gave me this never-ending flask. And what do you do if they don't drop anything of value? <laughs> uh, I'm not moving. You can see his big-ass body is just blocking the doorway. What if he just, like, pushed you out of the way? <laughs> <laughs> Think of it as me doing your favor. Or you're going there, you're gonna die. Well, we've got to get these people out of here and moving forward. Mm. If anyone can clear the gauntlet, it's the Riptide Pirates, so... The more people we can take with us, the better. That, yeah, that feels like a lot. Uh, you naive youngins always think you can take on the world. <sighs> but Just we wait can. till the world wants to take on you. <laughs> You'll sober up. No matter how long you've been drinking it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. What did you What did you say your name was? I, I kind of uh, poke my. Yeah. Forward. Uh, Dread pirate knucklehead. Dread, Dread pirate knucklehead. Yeah. Um. It's cool. Nice to meet you. Name's yeah. Chip. Uh, Captain of the Albatross, Riptide Pirates. These are my co-captains. Uh, Gillian, Jay. Hey. Gillian. Hi. Uh, hi. Yeah. Uh, I want to go up and put my arm around him. Listen, we got a friend in here, and we were hoping to maybe get him not in here. And we okay. look like a. You know, pretty nice guy. You probably belong out there. Maybe we make it through this, you get out too. Figure that's way more value than a little little sip. Roll a persuasion check. I say with advantage because everybody's been talking to him. And it's your destiny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was <Okay>. good. <laughs> Jesus. 
26. I admire your aspiration. Well, thank you. I admire your... You know what they say? Stench. You know what they say, lad? Uh, yeah, I know what they say. I definitely But don't. I want to hear, you know, how about you say it? Some of the strugglers keep on going. Because there's hope that they leech on to. That hope is, in my opinion, probably just Navy fucking with us and driving us forward. <laughs> Get to the center of the prison. That's your route. Huh. I want to be rehabilitated. Be Red your eyes or whatever. Send her out to prison. It's an ex. Do people sound like this when they're drunk? I have no yes. idea what he just said. <gasps> what he's saying is, we're not gonna get there. I mean, we could always use some help. He like starts to stand up, and as he does, it's kind of this like big, Hagrid sort of uh, mm. uh, uh, size, and his shoulders kind of stretch and squeeze on the sides, and his head kind of bends down on the uh, on the uh, on the on the ceiling of this this, this uh, brick hallway, and um which is obviously much wider than mm -hmm. the other ones as well. And uh, he starts to like kind of just step to the side. Be my guest, lads. Well, what about the thing of value, though? I know. The thing of value is we're going to get him out of here. I've given up on that long time ago. I don't think many people in here are, are still trying to escape. I just enjoy seeing your bread. Spry, hopeful faces. <laughs> when you eventually circle back around here, if you're still alive, I'll get my thing of value then. Think of this as my way of saying good luck. Circle back <gasps> around. Oh, okay, all right. Um, thanks. I guess. <coughs> um, don't give up hope. Better than anymore. Better to die trying than to. I die. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> you had something there at first. There was something lost. there. Yeah. Well, you're gonna maybe wish I've never moved. <laughs> I open the door. I go through. It, it is, it, I obviously, it. it's just one of those black doorways that you walk through. Okay. Once again, as you walk through, you get to that more open area where you can kind of see shifting hallways, one above you, one below you, once you're left and right, and you guys can again choose another direction. Uh, and so it just says, Jay, goodbye goodbye for James, now." You I have a crazy idea, guys. And she reaches into her bag and pops out a little, the little eyeglass, okay. and uh, kind of like extends it and pulls it off to her eye. And she wants to see if we're on course for our goal. I guess. So you get three questions that has to, again, then your uh, weather, relate to your the weather. Uh huh. Uh, your ask about the weather three times. Hey, how's the weather? <laughs> this weather, am I right? Wait, how's the weather? Up there? Oh my God, how's what? the weather, huh? Wait, how's the weather? My up God, there? What? the weather. Hey, what? How's the weather? <laughs> um. So first question would be: Are we on course to our goal? I guess. Okay. Yeah. So the wording is: <laughs> Has to relate to the weather, the course, yeah. or the ship. Okay. So what course count with that? With uh, what you I can certainly try. Okay, well, let's try it. So, yeah, uh, if what heading towards our destination, our goal, um, distance traveled from when we entered the prison, if I can do that. Because I feel like that could be interesting. I don't know. And how's the weather? <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's what I want to know. It's different than when you're out on the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's not showing a specific direction to go. Okay. It just seems to be like... There's four glowing white lines pulsing on the on like the the floor, the ceiling of the up and down, and the left and right walls for the left and right direction, mm -hmm. and just one of them is slightly brighter than the other. Okay, which one? Up. Up. Okay. It would be up. Yep. The second one was distance traveled since we entered the prison. Mm -hmm. uh. Second one, distance traveled. Uh, you are able to get a a, a vague. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain the flavor of it looking around, but you get kind of an inclination that you guys have traveled uh, from your ship, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, there's not a specific measurement of distance or anything. Um, yeah, nothing specific. Okay. Uh, but it has been quite a bit of ways. 
Okay. These third question, how is the weather? Outside, yeah. it's still clear as day. Awesome. <laughs> it's a awesome. great Guys, sunny, it's day a outside. sunny day outside. Sunny day outside. Yes! Inside also, here, we're going up. Inside here, room temperature is a bit colder than normal. But not like freezing. So, uh, just keep on this way. Bazoople! Bazoople! <laughs> keep going that way. <laughs> you guys start walking up the incline in this uh, red, red sparkling brick interior. And you walk through another one of those black doorways. And this, as you go up, it seems to level out. And you go straight for a while again. And then you go up once more. And after you are, are going up the second time, you step through one of those doorways. And this time... As you step through a doorway that obscures your vision on the other side, as I've said, your feet seem... It doesn't sink as much as the swamp, but you immediately hear a, 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 a crunching noise as your footwear hits the ground. Mm. Your, your skin, as all three of you step out, is immediately bitten by the ice-cold temperature. Mm. Mm. Actually, I'm fine. I have immunity to cold. You have immunity? What? Yeah. Remember the look thing down. that Slaughter gave me? As you guys look down, you can see that you're walking on this like jumbled ice and snow. Um, and you struggle, all three of you are struggling to keep your balance almost immediately against this torrent of wind that's rushing against you coming from the other side. DM, I have a question. Is it, is it colder than negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit in here? It is extremely cold. Am, I, am I affected by it because I have a necklace of Fahrenheit? You can, okay, so with the necklace, mm -hmm. you can still feel the cold. Yeah. But it is absolutely not as, it is, it is, it is like piercing, almost like scratching your skin as it hits you guys for Chip and Gillian. But for Jay, it's just, it's definitely cold. It feels like mm -hmm. walking into a, a food freezer, okay. but not a fucking Arctic tundra Ooh, that the, the two of you guys walk in. Ah, that's right, good thing mad, I brought my jacket. That's mad cold. <laughs> As you guys all step through the doorway, you look behind you again, and once uh, you sort of put together that the room has probably shifted as the exit behind you is no longer present. Guys, my, all my moisture is frozen. It's, this is kind of the worst situation. It's like I said, I can't feel you my are toes. deeply immersed out. Come on. into this tundra. What the fuck is wrong with you? Stop, we know you're funny, okay? We know you're a funny Why clown. You? Why are you not funny a good and not cold? It's not a good pit. My, my laughter brings warmth. You should have laughed more. Here, <laughs> I'll, I'll put, I'll, I have, I can uh, shield you from the elements with ice. Okay. With ice. Uh, I'll make, I put I ice on you. Ah, yes. Get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up. I can't, oh, my hands are stuck. My hands are stuck because it's so cold. Gilly, I want to so, a look at you, but my neck is stuck. In front of you, all you see is a line, sort of almost like a rolling, like slight rolling hill of snow going in front of you and at the very, very end, a small black speck, very small, you assume to be another one of those exits, but it is quite a distance, wow, it is a, a mile. Shuffle up there stuck together. <laughs> you guys will be able, if you run at full speed, which will be, <laughs> it'll take about three rounds to get to the exit. And I'm going to have each of you, of as you are in this tundra, uh, we're going to start with the three of you rolling a con save. Jay, roll with this uh, ad advantage. You can roll oh, an advantage. That's cool. I have resistance to cold. Does that give me anything here? Just uh, not quite, no. Okay. You well, have immunity to cold? I rolled a natural 20 on my that's con awesome. save. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, not immunity, but What'd it is get? resistance. and I'm. That's, really, that's actually really good. You have resistance to cold damage? Mine's going to be great. I have resistance to all, like, cold. yeah, I guess. Natural it's one. It's because I'm a fright. <laughs> Can my natural you got, na you got a natural one? Can my awesome warmth help? <laughs> You're gonna be a fucking chip. Did you, did, you not, did you guys not just hear me say this is gonna be great and then roll a natural one no, instantly you. after? You guys can't help each other much here. You guys do add four to your concepts though. Okay, uh, well, I, got, I got a twenty, not natural. You got twenty-seven. Right? With all of your rolls, chip, you take. Uh, well, all of you technically, except for Jay, because you're immune. I'm immune. immune. It's resistance to cold damage. So, then. Your resistance to all things cold? Um, I can check if you want. Double so check that you're resistant to cold damage. Yeah, that's a, yeah, it's a yeah, it's on the trend. Okay, I'm so Chip, damage. you take six points of cold damage. You oh. two take three points of cold damage. Uh, 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 you guys are oh. able to 
Gillian and Jay, you're able to make your way and uh, uh, kind of keep mm. your 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 body warm together and huddle up. Oh, and both wet. of you are, are, are stay wet. Stay wet. Gillian is used to the to cold wet. waters being in the, the deep of the sea, and Jay obviously has this necklace from Aslana helping her stay warm. But Chip, as you guys been, you start making this trek through the snow, you immediately feel as if your body starts to stiffen and your eyes are frosted your skin is blue, like almost like this like light shade of blue as it's getting paler guys oh. i think my face is freezing you're not turning into a fish person are you or no, i think he's freezing to death that's not good no i'm turning into a fish person here oh. i am gilly and tosh right no, I, I, I think it's getting to you i think it's getting to you i'm Sing gilly i'm right actually right gilly no, no. he's gilly as you guys make I'm your gilly way and now and moisture to the me I want, I want to cast. Uh, I cast bless okay. on these guys um, as basically the the snow around us starts to. Uh, is it snowing? Um, or is it yes, just cold? very snow. There, there's okay, also cool. wind that's kind of very like snow. pushing very against snow. you. So <laughs> it's a much harder to walk against it as well as the wind. Like this, yeah. the wind is snow. You're like basically caught in the middle of a giant freezing cool. Arctic tundra snowstorm. Okay. Wow. I, I, I use bless to basically like the the. Um, snow under our feet starts to kind of, it doesn't melt necessarily, but it sort of turns into water as I'm like kind of changing it a little mm -hmm. bit to try and help us out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'm going to give, I'm going to give Chip my jacket. It does nothing. Probably not, but the, you know, I Chivalry disguise isn't myself dead. as someone who's warm. <laughs> So, well, um, you look, why you, you look like someone that's warm. You look so are warm. You? No. As you guys are starting to make your way halfway through, go ahead and make another, your second con save. Check this oh out, guys. God. Jay Here's with advantage. For your bless. Right, right, for your bless. right, Add right. Four on the D4. <laughs> Let's go, baby. 13 oh plus God. three. Okay. 16, uh, 20, 19. 25. Uh, 21. The next thing, as you guys continue to walk, you, not, none of you, so, first uh, everybody take four points of cold damage oh shit all right uh and with that you guys are, are none of you feel that you get even more stiff or or seem to uh nothing slow you don't feel slower or or even colder like an ice cube nice. um but you do feel if you can't re like resist the rest of the journey or if you stay here even longer you will likely s freeze to death Okay, guys, let's pick up to the death, pace a little bit. Face. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, before your third con save, I need uh, everybody here to make an investigation check. Okay. Or sorry, perception. Okay. Oh, perception, I'm good at it. Perception, perception. I am going to perceive. I've perceived. Nine. Uh, 17. As you guys are getting closer to- This room sucks. The exit <laughs> doorway, you are starting to see these almost like ice sculpture statues of different figures and humanoids, different races, all extremely detailed. So detailed to the point where Jay, uh, a little off oh, in the distance off the path, you see a hand that's sticking up from underneath the snow, like buried beneath a blanket of snow. And you recognize just a slight pattern on the arm, a tattoo that looks very familiar. A tattoo? Ooh. Tattoo? Familiar in what way? Like, do I do, do I notice any, like... With oh. your perception check, you just... It catches your eye. Oh, shit. We'd have to go closer? Uh, and it would take an extra round to get to the oh, door. Oh, fuck. Do you see anything? Guys, I... That hand looks... I'm gonna... You guys keep going. I'm gonna check it out. Okay, you sure? Uh, Chip needs to get out of here. He looks like he's about to die already. Okay, I'll take Chip. I'm coming back for you, okay? Okay, just don't go through the door until I get there. Okay. We don't want to get split up. Let's go, Chibo. You guys are moving the next round towards the doorway. Yeah. And you're taking this round to move towards the hand. Yeah. How far away is this going to... Gonna take her because I don't know if uh, one more one additional round. No, Which, no, no, no. I mean like what's the in feet? Because I don't because bless has a range of thirty feet, so if she leaves. Well, it, technically she's I guess going to leave. I'm, okay, I'd she's be going to leave one round away, so thirty feet. She's away. absolutely going to leave your range for that. Right? Okay, so you so, don't have the bless and you don't have the plus four then. That's fine. at the start of the the yeah. travel round. You guys can make another con save. I rolled a twelve this time. Fifteen. Twenty-one. Uh, both Chip and Jay. Now, so Jay and Chip. 
Jeff wording Jeff. of Necklace of Farron is... Resistance hey. to cold. Uh, everything you wear and carry, you and everything you wear and carry are unharmed by temperatures as low as negative 50. So would this still cause like the ice build up on me? Whatever. Um, everything you wear and carry... You and everything. So myself. You're basically, every time you fail to save, you're taking a point of like freeze. Okay. As soon as you guys get to the exit doorway, Chip is almost looking like one of those statues. He can't move his body. You have to start carrying him, carrying him through the door as you guys get there. Um, but it, yeah, his teeth aren't even chattering now because they're like frozen. Yeah. Oh my god, uh, frozen! Damn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I throw him through the doorway. Uh, Chip, you uh, you lose sight as everybody as you are thrown through that doorway, um, and you're still kind of technically restrained at this point. But in the next round or, or two, you will likely oh. dissolve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you're no longer in the uh, biting cold temperatures. However, Jay, as you get to the sand, uh, okay, what are you in? Okay, yeah, it's a roll investigation. I just, yeah, I want to figure out like where I've seen this tattoo before. That's not great. Uh, nine. Okay. Um, it's not your destiny. It's not my destiny. Why? As you get closer to the hand, uh, it seems to be like a. a, a extremely like it's definitely a man's hand uh -huh. there are like frozen bits of the um like this like thick arm hair that cover the tattoos uh but you don't like you don't know exactly where the tattoos you've seen before mm -hmm. but you know you've seen them and you've seen them recently can i recognize like a visible pattern on them at all like you would any... have to try and like see uh you'd have to try and take them out of the snow to see any more Jay, how's it going over there? It's a little nipply out. I mean, nippy. I, say, I meant to say nippy and chilly at the same time, but it's really cold, so I said nipply. Um, can you even hear me from this distance? What? It's very quiet, but you guys can hear huh. each other. Nipply. If you need to go with Chip, don't leave Chip alone. Chip's thawing. I'm not gonna leave you. Yeah, but like, if this place shifts again, I don't think he should be alone. He's I, pretty fucked up, I think, based I'll, on the ice. Uh, I'll stick my leg in the room and then wait. Okay. I don't, don't lose your leg. Don't <laughs> lose your life. I'll do my best. Can I? That's not. Can I look through the doorway and see him without going all the way through, or no? Yeah, it seems to be kind of like a uh, almost like, like a it's barrier it's like, of darkness or something. Yeah, it's like a tent almost. Okay. Like a, like a revert, like a, like one of the police mirrors. I see. Yeah. yeah. But so, on both sides. So is he like, is he safe right now? Is he in any danger? He's just kind of like frozen stiff on the ground laid on his side. As is the, just is the room like obviously dangerous? It's then? the same kind of hallway. Oh, just like a hallway? Yeah. Yep. Like the hallways we've been walking. Yep. Most of okay. In that case, I'm going to go back towards Jay. All right. So a... you're going to be able to get to her with your movement on this round, but both of you have to roll a con save. Is she going to get my stuff for being close to me yet or no? Uh, I'll say you're able to get there, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, I also rolled my strength. Uh, was it? it was 18 minus 1, 17. Okay. okay. Uh, so add 4, oh, so then dirty 20. Oh, wait, did you say add d4? Add a d4. Okay, 23 for con. Okay, uh, your con save, Gillian? My con save is a 16. All right. Which may not be good enough <laughs> both of you just take one point of cold damage <laughs> <laughs> but gillian you do feel your skin as well start to like uh, freeze over and it almost feels like that that stone petrification from when you fought with empress malice except ice just pure ice i am the one and you the know one, this the one. You, have, you have you have the freeze spell um and you're um, you're able to feel the kind of the similarities when <sighs> caspian froze you during the tournament yeah um, this is just kind of like a beginning stage. It's a very slow burning spell or like slow burning freeze. Uh, -huh. uh but you managed to get to J and J you're able to lift, uh, this with that strength check. Actually, what'd you roll? Uh, 17. Okay. You're not able to get the, uh, um, the whole like body out, but you're able to get the arm out, uh, enough to where you can see like just where the shoulder is. And this is a, like a massive burly arm with like a frozen tattered uh, uh, sleeves. And you see that tattoo you recognize um, that goes all the way up the, the, the bicep. And the one that you really recognize is this kind of like thick, uh, uh, very detailed anchor detailed on the side. Anchor. I will, uh, I mean, I can let you roll another investigation. I would, I would love okay. to. Um, or Gillian can if he sees it as well. <laughs> okay, well that didn't help too much. Uh, I got a You're 15. Welcome. 15. Yeah. You recognize these tattoos to be that from Marshall John. No! no! 
You motherfucker! Son of a bitch! You son of a- you actual <laughs> shit! Fuck you! Shit. And uh, he is being pulled almost like a quarter out of the way from under the snow from Jack. Jay, we gotta get him out of here. Is he even alive? It's worth a shot. What about Chip? Chip's thawing. <laughs> yeah, but if the room See, shifts... he's slowly making out words. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Let's do it quick, low. All right. We're gonna try and get him out. Uh, both of you can roll strength, or one of you can roll with advantage. You with advantage. advantage. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Sense. And... It's my destiny. <laughs> 18 plus 6 is a 24, plus 3 is a 27. You grab that massive forearm with your with your uh, Like hand, always! And forearm you just, and forearm! You lift effortlessly, and this giant body gets lifted out with the arm kind of like stuck out, almost in this running formation with the hand like out, and it is the full frozen sculpture of Marshall John. Oh! Jeez, great. Okay. Uh, Let's go, Jay! We need to go fast. I have an insane question. Could we try to like dash for disadvantage on Khan? I've been assuming you've been dashing. Okay, okay. never mind. Um, for the movement, because it would have been much further away and taken much yeah. longer if you didn't yeah. move at full speed. However, if you were going to carry John, you will be moving at half speed. Okay. okay. So you're so both going to roll two more con saves. Okay. So go ahead and roll the first can, one. Can I just carry John and she can get in? Sure. I'll do that. Are you sure? If Jay yeah. wants to do that. I'll get to the door. Yeah, I rolled a 19. I'll, right. I'll just carry mean, John. Does that mean you still have to only roll two con saves? Or is that, is that more? Can, I just, two can we just roll? Right? Yeah, I roll, I roll one. Uh, if Jay's got, deserting you by yeah. yourself. I'm not deserting Jay rolls still. one. So what no, 19 I'm asking plus, you to go ahead. Do you want me to go through the door? You go through the door. You're, I, Are you I, sure? I'll take John, yes. Oh my god, okay. Right. You take three cold damage and you're able to make it through the door. Without, okay. without freezing over. I look through the doorway. I'm just making sure that Gil's on his way. I'm, I go through the door and I see Chip still, right? Yeah, he's just still. He okay. looks to be a bit more uh, uh, thawed out. His skin isn't as blue, and it's there's there's some icicles that are all condensed. Is Jay. Pretzel frozen? Hey, Jay. Roll. Hey, it's okay. Oh, Roll con save for Pretzel. If you wouldn't have reminded me, I would have never known. She got a 12 oh. with a lot of bonuses. I mean, okay. technically, she's not dead at zero, right? Like, what can... are all the bonuses? She's not a familiar Oh, girl. that's it. 12 total? Oh, she's just a frog. I rolled a one. So she has 11 HP now. Go ahead and, and uh, take three damage as you start your half your journey to um, <laughs> back to the gateway. <laughs> so, <laughs> as uh, you're, you're, you've you're unleashed fun. Pretzel's fury. You've had the bowl. <laughs> frozen. The you've had the bowl closed, but it's still kind of so like the the water isn't like it is starting to to freeze, but it's not like she. She's more like trying to uh, to to ink enough to keep like the inside oh, of her. Oh, that's so fucking sad. To ink the inside of her bowl, like just a little bit of it, not a block of ice, so she can still like be. I will go down a dark path if I lose these two today. Um, so uh, you move halfway. You take three points of cold damage. Yeah, You're going to roll one more con save. save for both you and Pretzel because you asked for it. I didn't. I, I just. You just mentioned it. <laughs> Make that one for Pretzel. <laughs> I, I thought in my head that it's for me, so it's gotta oh, be for man. me. I'm, I yeah. gotta do it. The honor. That's honor. that's who I am, baby. Uh, 17 plus 7, 24 plus 3. I got a 27, but it's not fucking about me. You take a two points of cold damage. 11. Okay, 11. Destiny. Four. four. Ooh. Okay, Pretzel got a 15. Does she get the plus four, plus four from you? So yes, 19. 19. Okay. How much damage did I take again? You take two points of cold damage, okay. and uh, uh, Pretzel would take four. So is that your second? But no, neither of you, neither yeah. of you freeze. Yeah. And just before you're about to get to the to the the doorway, as you as you got to that halfway point before you even rolled the con safe, you noticed that that the room started to shift. And Jay, as you're sticking your head out, oh, you can shit. see that doorway starting to close. And you're starting oh, to move shit. with it. Oh shit, Gillian, hurry! I'm working <laughs> on it. But you guys are able to just barely squeeze through. Oh thank God. Um, go ahead and make a strength. I'm going to say a, if it's diving through the door, it's probably Dex. Yeah, this Dex. is my honor That's speaking. Dex. I'm this going to say I'm going to say sleight of hand to make sure you get Marshall John in as the door is closing. Oh, fuck. That's, can, or, I like, can I like assist by grabbing him and pulling him in? I'm trying to. Uh, I'm peeking my head through. It would be a straight wall because he would be at disadvantage anyways. Shh. Okay. If you're helping. Yeah. Thirteen plus two minus two because I have minus two to sleight Thirteen. Thirteen flat. 13 is enough. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, that was so stressful. So with Jay's help, you guys all kind of tumble in <laughs> and that so that, that hallway shifts and you watch as the, the, the exit once again uh, turns into that same red brick. Holy shit. Turning into another 
black doorway. To oh my god! Somewhere else. That was oh! close. Hey, who's the popsicle? And Chip at this point has mostly thought. Uh, while while I was waiting for Gillian, I set my clown suit on fire for Chip to warm up. <laughs> that's oh, beautiful. That's nice. <laughs> I give I gave up Perfect my dreams. Chip, <laughs> as you sit up, you see the frozen statue of a valor valiant. Valent? Gallant? Valiant. Marshall John. <laughs> Chip, I found him. Well, Jay found him. I, I found him. He was frozen in the snow. How did he get frozen? He's so big. I don't know. He, um, I, I figured have... his muscles provided insulation from the cold. I only have um, c- cold spells, and I don't think it will be very helpful. Well, we have it, this, you, we have this the, miniature the campfire. Stuff. Just heal him. Right? I, um, Do the touch. We don't know how long he's been here. I can try. Um, is there any way that I could try and use lay on hands to... You can certainly try. Okay. Marshall John is also certainly near this impromptu garbage clown fire. Uh, so... uh, (laughs) Clown fire. It's just a ridiculous (laughs) thing to fucking say. Um, I'm gonna give him five points. Okay. Uh, Marshall gets five points. But the frozen status, uh, which basically the frozen, frozen petrification, like a freeze spell, is, uh, Held, held. He's still frozen. Does the fire do anything? Is it a real fire? It's a clown fire. <laughs> I mean, it is like kind of a real fire. Are clowns real? Unfortunately, I mean, it's probably not like powerful because it's just like fabric. But well, I mean, it's funny. It is funny. You hear like you hear a really, a really. To me, sad to me, I, I assume the flavor. But even with it on the ground, just like burning, turning Nothing. into like like, it's it's like lightly burning now. It's almost all kind it's of okay, uh, so. dust at this point or whatever. In the in the clown fire, you hear a really sad. It's just so weak. You can't even... It's not even working. <laughs> anymore. Here, let me give it a shot. Let me give it a shot. I'll try and do a sad one. It's not even working, dude. Huh. You really killed it. You yeah, burned it. Remember. That's so fucking sad. So, so that's so sad. I mean the, like a like I mean like so basically uh-huh. like a cold drink on a, like a super hot summer. His like leg kind of sweats, but it doesn't change the frozen statue. You're not sure how long he's been frozen, as you said, guys. I, I don't have anything for this, Jay. Do you have any way to create fire? I've seen you absorb it before. Uh, I mean, I can, like, absorb it and attack him with it, but that seems dangerous. Well, just attack the wall with it. I don't know if that would work. I just... Any way to thaw Why? him out quicker. Before necrosis sets in, if it hasn't already. There's a good chance it has. I mean... Well, Let's get he, him out. Hang on. If he stays frozen, at least he stays intact. If we thaw him out now and... We don't have any way to help him, it's... I can heal him. As soon as he comes out, I can heal him. John, you hear me, brother? We're coming for you! Ding, okay, ding, ding. okay. Scream if you can hear me! So first of all, I want to cure wounds on John, uh, just so he has a little bit more health. He's getting 11 health back. Okay. Um. That's good. Then, I'm going to burn myself on the fire slightly. The clown fire. The funny fire. Okay. Uh, do I take damage from that? The funny flames. <laughs> I it, at this point because if you if you lit it right when you got in, I mean it's a clown fire. It's yeah. probably almost like I said. Would you allow away. absorb elements off of that? I don't. I don't you think you ha- can. I would s- think you'd have to burn yourself to absorb elements. Isn't yeah, it? So, that's what you want to do. Yeah, let's try it. I mean, it's something. Um. Okay. Then yeah, I just go and give, punch him. Give J- Marshall John a don't hearty punch a hit. in like the chest. Don't roll a hit. Just roll damage. Okay, that's fair. He's uh, a frozen statue. Zero <laughs> plus uh, nice. d six. Is it working out? Five fire damage. Okay, Jay kind of uh, um, abs- sets herself on fire, and then <laughs> you watch as that fire sinks into the skin, and then as she pulls her fist back, that glow runs through all her body, underneath her skin like a flashlight, and then comes and bursts out of her fist as she clocks him right in the jaw, and he doesn't. Uh, you you see, there's like the ice scrapes, and like there's a a a, a you can't really burn mark ice, but it is yeah. like wet there. Uh-huh. But it doesn't. That's it. It it's, doesn't it's too thick. It's not doing anything. Shit, you could um. I mean, I guess we could just carry him. I don't know. Do we have anything else we could set on fire to like, make a, um, heat? I have a million things I could set on fire, but I don't. Things are always catching on fire around you. Why not now? I don't think it's gonna work. By the way, I'm gonna take out my bedroll and I'm gonna wrap it around Chip. Can I'm, we just carry him? 
I guess. I mean, yes. he'll melt eventually, maybe? Or once we get on the ship, we well, can start a bigger fire out of the whole ship. We can find a way no. to call him. <laughs> You're, it's going to happen anyway. <laughs> the Millennium Chipper will not go down that way. The, we're co-captains. Majority will activate Albatross until Millennium one of us dies. Chipper. Until yes. one of us dies, it's the Albatross. Nope. I, I am nominating... Uh, Marshal John as a co-captain. What John. do you say, Marshal John, John? Please, that's fucked up. Millennium Chipper. Oh, you heard him. <laughs> you heard him say it. Marshal John, it. come on, let's get out of here. I grab his hand. I start, I start like powerly walking away <laughs> down the hallway. I just love okay. the idea that there's like the sound of that stone scraping, like the. <laughs> that's that's basically the what happened, like a comical SpongeBob yeah. sound. Well, <laughs> on the bright side, we found Marshal John. No, yeah, yeah. Right. No. Now we just gotta find a way out. No, Come we on, can John. Hang out with us while we die. So I won't make you roll athletics. You're just kind of at a disadvantage. Don't care. So you'll move <laughs> at half speed, like carrying someone. Good. Um, and I believe if you're carrying him while attacking, you roll at disadvantage. We will always be doing team attacks. And uh, you guys are going this through the other side of the hallway once again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Sir. Dragging Marshal Law, Marshal John behind you, frozen in ice you enter another chamber that is more open as the other ones before and you once again have those four directions well jay um what are your senses saying this time I, wait i want to choose this time yeah i mean go for it um, i can't this thing's not right. working anymore it's out of charges how right okay so you guys hang a right and uh in these rooms that are um not moving technically they're kind of they're like stuck they're basically like hub rooms where you can watch uh different pathways move you are able if you want to short rest yes okay yes whoa yes. absolutely that's, that's what i was Please. thinking about it's just gonna i be, know it's a little sacrilege but i just kind be, of yeah. do wish we had that pearl right now you'll be um, sitting here for about an hour or so i think a short rest is a half okay. an hour does an hour? john thaw any over an hour or no it's pretty permanent uh, he doesn't seem to be thawing okay, in this so room. I'm Again, this is like cold temperatures in this room. It's not like freezing, but I gotcha. But it seems it's so it seems to be probably like magical. Kind of, yeah, the rest on here. Uh, so it's either it's, corner, a gear. you can roll a chrono check if you want doing sure. a short rest. Yeah, I'll uh, see. Next to your name, next to your chip. Uh, that is going to be a. I'm not very good at this. Um, sixteen actually. There is a a. a crumb of of arcane, uh, that is that you can feel just by. Whenever you grab Marshall John as like a for a forearm handshake okay. or so, Can I, but it's it, okay. it's more than likely with your experience in ice and water magic, and I mean you're new to hydromancy because you have you know you've only studied with Caspian once, right? You know that the the freeze and and being frozen magically um, is ex like way more resistance than just normal non magical heat. Can I do a medicine check to see if somebody would be able to survive being frozen like this? Um, I was thinking do medicine check is it at advantage because there's no real tells as he's a statue. Yeah. That's gonna be a 16. Normally, when someone is frozen solid like this, they would likely they're they're they would likely die. Mm -hmm. You guess because the body temperature would be too low, the heart would start stop beating. Same thing as hypothermia. Mm -hmm. yeah. But because this, uh, if Gillian is sharing information, this is some kind of arcane. We're definitely talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, this is some kind of like arcane form of freezing in this uh, magical frozen tundra chamber in this prison. You mm -hmm. have no idea if it's going to kill him or not. Yeah, so I there's just, hope, but you just don't know. I mean, he could still be alive. I just, I'm not sure. We have to hold out hope that he is. We, we at least then we just got to get him out. We got to get him out. Yeah. For the hour I sleep. Okay. <laughs> uh, did you guys regain hit points and stuff? Yes. Yeah, yeah I used yeah. A, I used a few hit I used die. Four I used of my hit die. Fuck them. I used four as well. Yeah, all right, uh, you guys. Three paladin, and one sorcerer, if anyone fucking cares. I use four <laughs> ranger. Sorry if I'm a little uh, irritable. I'm kind of mad at you. Yeah, fuck you, Grizzly. <laughs> you guys take your long, or your short rest. Well, and, in reality, this is actually our fault. Feel much better. And uh, I assume, unless you say otherwise, you continue heading down this uh, the right hallway, yeah. as Chip said. Mm -hmm. You guys. He's always got a plan. Exit. He does. It's going to bring us closer together. You guys uh, go through that right uh, black doorway and continue down just a straight path. Nice. And as you emerge from what you assume to be the last black doorway into another chamber, 
That's where we're gonna end the session. Ah! Man, fuck off, man. This is how you you made walking through a fucking white room <laughs> the most tense shit ever, man. And you fucking put the guy. God really, damn it. Yeah, I really didn't think that part was going to be so intense. But when you guys like decided to go back and forth and whatnot, like oh. to just like split off, I was like. I wouldn't have been able to get Marshall on there. <laughs> no, I know, and I had Dude, like this was I, was. I had 17 HP. You were get, yeah, he showed me. You, you were getting we were fucked playing. up. Yeah, I was, I was gonna die. Fucked up. I don't have your like. I tried when I could to it's go cool back. That you don't. I think because yeah, yeah. you you are. I'm trying yourself. to be unbiased because if you guys go down, then you just go down. Normally, I have like a bad habit of being like, "Is he close to death?" I know you ask us like, "What's your HP?" But it's it's. Really I think cool I'm just gonna stop. I have to I have to go to your sheets to check spells sometimes, and I and I <laughs> have to. I obviously will see that yeah. HP, but. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to play it pretty safe. With it's that honestly stuff, yeah, that it's smart to not awesome. even like think oh. about it or look at it because then. Yeah, I keep forgetting that you guys impartial. are supposed to go down. Yeah. Dude, I'm so excited. That, that to was talk. Tense. I'm so excited to talk about this on Just Roll. Just Roll it. Let's uh, talk about it. Just Roll with it because I think we got a lot to say. Okay. Um, all, right, all, right, all right. Okay. Thanks you guys for watching. Bye. Bye. Hey, hey, it's me again, 4 a.m. Condi. Uh, just wanted to stop in and thank our patrons. Specifically, the $50 ones, even though the rest of them are super cool too. But these guys pay for this for this privilege. So, thank you so much to Remy Fox. Fox is my middle name in parentheses. It me August. Derpy Tricks. Everett St Stoker. Crobins. Zero Codex. Netven. Deathclaw. Scarab5. Sandy007. Benjamin Talavera. Kylie Evans, Het Hedgehog, William Smith, Sebastian Saunders, Apple, Princess Vegeta, Soul of a Pep, Clarence, Cheshire, Mis Misfit Wolverine 15, Blue Blend Blop, Elise the Washed Up Bard, Bowling Ball Iron, Zerberus, Mr. Griffin, Alyssa, Dream Strider, Chalky Driss, Bryson Sin, Liam Eli, Spinyax, Humming Jay, Buttery Toast, Consume Cheddar, Raytheon, Expoogaloo, Creepy Reaper, King of Ranch, Serene is actually a skeleton, Material Seaweed, Gillian's biggest fan, Precious Snivy, Cornier Comet, Jumpiest Venus 34, Your Gal Pal Valerie V, Edgy Moss, Riker Kurotu, Nongzalotl, Salutation, JRWI Enjoyer, and Jay Newell. Thank you guys so much for supporting the show. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Still a few more weeks left of Just Roll With It Week, and then we're back to online for a bit. But hey, hopefully you're enjoying them while we're here. We appreciate it a lot. We wouldn't have been able to do this without you guys. Uh, thank you so much, and good night again. <laughs>